Hello guys, welcome back to the channel where Maroi makes Mino. Mino is music in Sibeti. If you don't know, now you know. Okay guys, so today we're doing something out of the usual. It's not the usual beat tutorials. Today, we're going to make a video on how to start a record label in South Africa in five steps. Um, I was having a discussion with one of my one of my little homies and he was asking me like so how would you go about registering your own label as an independent artist so the information i gave him was so brief and so straightforward he thought damn bro i didn't know it was this simple like you really really like just laid it out for me and i i feel like i don't know why it has to be so complicated or why the music business intentionally makes certain things and information so complicated and I was like, yeah, bro, it's just how the music business is, especially the music publishing side. See, that side, my gents, it's, yeah, like, there it gets intentionally complex because I just feel like they obviously don't want you to understand certain things. And I've been studying music publishing for some time now, also the music business, and I'm also doing law, so it... It kind of goes hand in hand, you know, I feel like I have this passion for the music business and I have a serious interest in all the laws that actually encompass the music business. But let me not go too deep into my life story. Let's cut straight to the chase, guys. So in this video, I'll be going through the steps you'll need to follow in order to start your own record label. And it's going to be very brief, guys, very straightforward. I don't want to bombard you with unnecessary information and have you thinking, yo, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. So let's get straight to it, guys. Step number one, you need to register as a business. What you'll need to do is log into the CIPC website. The link is in my description and you need to register as a business. Why is this so key? Well, first of all, Registering will give your record label a legal identity so that your business can actually perform legal actions. In this context example, I'd say recording contracts, etc. Um, it's not just a necessary step for record labels, but for all businesses. So you cannot skip this step, guys. Um, I'd say the best option for you to register your record label would be to register it as a private company. And I'll tell you why. In case of a lawsuit, which is highly likely in the music industry, your business will be sued and not you personally. That's why it's key to register as that private company. Capish? Simple. Let's move on to step two, which you'll need to do after registering at CIPC. You need to head to Samro's website, again, link in the description, and you'll need to register with Samro as a publisher. All right, emphasis on publisher, not writer or composer, a publisher why because your record label will be publishing music whether it's yours or some of the artists that you've signed okay so you need to head to samro register as a publisher um for those of you who aren't so informed samro is responsible for administering performance rights um and these are royalties your record label would receive from the commercial music the commercial use of your music you know what I mean? And this basically means that the music released under your record label will earn royalties when it's played on TV, radio, etc. Um, if you still don't kind of get it, Samuro basically defines performance royalties as the right to perform music in public and is part of copyright law. You get. And it's also important to note that Samuro states that performing rights belong to the person or people who own the music. So that is your music composers, your lyricists, uh, music publishers who wrote, created, or produced it. Um, yeah, basically in a nutshell, if you want to find out more about Sambro, I suggest you head on to their website, get more informed. Bafuetu? Cool. Once you're done with Sambro, we head over to Capasso. Link is in the description. That is Capasso, C-A-P-A-S-S-O. This would be the next step. You need to head there and register as a publisher. Again, 
the reason you want to do this is to receive what are called mechanical rights. According to Capasso, mechanical rights arise when a musical work is reproduced or transferred from one format to another. So, for example, you'd say um, from a master tape to a CD, for example. Okay. Now we're done at Capasso. Just a quick re recap, guys. We went to CIPC, registered a business, went to Samro, registered as a publisher. Then we went to Capasso, registered as a publisher again. Now, number four, you need to go to Sampra's website and you need to register there again. Now, this is the last collective management organization you need to register with. Um, Sampra is responsible for administering needle time rights and according to sampra these are royalties paid out for the public performance of your music so these royalties are distributed to recording artists and record labels so if your artist's music is played in public spaces like let's say a mall then they would receive what we call needle time rights and guys i'm placing emphasis on this next point it's very important to note that these organizations are not in competition with each other bro you need to register with each and every single one of them. Why? So you can maximize the returns from your royalties. Last step of which is slept on, you need to register with Risa. You can't let this slide, bro. You need to collect them platinum plaques, my boy. Register with Risa. Last step. You need to register with Risa. Why? Risa provides what is called ISRC codes. And these are used to track sales for your music. So Risa uses these codes to track that. It's also responsible for issuing gold, silver, and platinum certifications in South Africa. So yeah, that's just, it's basically about it, guys. It's really not that complicated. It's very straightforward. Five simple steps. Thank you.